Hi everyone, I'm Brandi Van Patten, the content manager here at EMS Environmental. Today I'm talking with Alan Blanchard, the president of EMS. We're going to discuss hydrogeology and the hydrogeological services that EMS can offer to you. So first things first, Alan, can you explain what hydrogeology is? Sure. Hydrogeology um, is basically how water flows through soil and rock under the ground. Think of soil as a jar of marbles. We can pour water into that jar of marbles. The spaces between the marbles is where the water is going to go. Um, that level of the water, we call that the water table. Below, where the pore spaces between the marbles are filled with water, that's the saturated zone. Above the water table, where the, uh, the spaces, pore spaces between the marbles are not filled, that's the unsaturated zone. Now, <clears throat> if in real life, when you put a well in below the saturated zone, if you can get water out of it, we call that an aquifer. Of course, in real life, it's never as simple as the jar of marbles because the, the sand grains are not as round. They're all different sizes. Um, some are flat, you know, some are angular, some are rounded. So water might flow downhill, but it also flows along the path of least resistance. So it can get very complicated. Um, sometimes you'll get tiny flat grains of clay um, we call that a confining layer where water can't pass through. So it can take all different kinds of channels to, to get where it's going. Now let's make it more complicated because most of the wells are actually in bedrock. Well, there are no pore spaces between the grains in bedrock. There, water occurs in fractures or in faults or between bedding planes or just cracks in the rock. Um, so again, water flows downhill but if there's the only way it can flow is through the crack, it's through the crack the least resistance. If a well is installed and it doesn't encounter any cracks or fractures, there's no water. Um, if a well is installed in lots of uh, fractured area, there could be lots of water. All right. Now that you have schooled us all on hydrogeology, can you give us an example of when EMS has encountered a hydrogeological issue on a property? Sure. We had a, a project... Um, where it was an RV dealership and they had an underground storage tank for gasoline and it leaked. Um, it was in a fairly rural area, so everybody's on uh, water wells. Down gradient was on a pretty significant hill. Nobody was impacted. But side gradient to the property, there were a number of houses who um, had issues with water quality with get from gasoline components in their wells. Um, we came in and we actually replaced a previous consultant because they could not determine uh, what happened because um, they looked down gradient, they were, but in several monitoring wells, they only got three or four gallons a minute out of these wells. Yet side gradient, here are the wells that were impacted. They said, oh, it must be somebody upgrading to them. There was nobody else upgrading to them. So what we did is we looked at the overall big picture of the geology. And first we researched what the bedrock geology was in that area, that type of rock um, had fracture clusters. And then they'd go for a period of time where there weren't be many fractures. And so we looked at um, air photos and uh, large maps. And we'll look for something called lineaments, which are linear traces. Uh, it could be vegetation changes, uh, straight stretches of stream beds, things like that. And lo and behold, we found one, looked like it went through the property, drilled a series of wells. One well made three or four gallons a minute. Also, we drilled into this fraction. You could tell by the type of rocks that were coming up during drilling um, that we hit fractures. And now all of a sudden, we made 15 gallons a minute of, or more of water. It also had a strong odor of gasoline in it. A <clears throat> little more drilling, we found out that fracture ran right from there over to the wells that were impacted. So what we did is we put a, a groundwater treatment system in, reversed the flow in the fracture. We also dug out the source area so that the soil didn't con continue uh, to have rainwater leach through into these fractures and actually cleaned it up. Wow. Well, 
Now that we've all learned a little bit about hydrogeology from Alan, if our hydrogeological services sound like something you may need on your property, please feel free to give us a call and you can talk to one of our professionals today. Thank you for watching.